In just the Plata State capital, security was beefed up at most praying grounds visited as Muslim faithful arrived for prayers subjecting themselves to security checks. Chief Imam of the Joss Fiber Mosque and Secretary General of the Jamaat Nasser Islam, the umbrella body of Muslims in the country, focused his sermon on the growing incidence of hate speeches in Nigeria, describing it as assuming a dangerous trend. Well, hate speech is really very dangerous and no country survives hate speech because the end product of hate speech is violent conflict that will engulf when it is what when, when instilled in the society then nobody is safe rwanda is a very good example with the coming of the social media it is really stuffy because it is so stuffy in the social media the whatsapp the instagram the facebook the text messages and so on 90 percent of all these postings are lies and are sponsored by desperate politicians. The cleric accused politicians and religious leaders of inciting people to violence or prejudicial actions by their comments. Uh, hate speech, we must avoid it, and that is the only way we can make a headway in this country. Somebody said, don't vote this, don't vote that, and so on. It is unbecoming of a religious leader to incite people to begin to incite people even right two years before the time all these things head speech if you see them one of them said crush them somebody said spit their blood because he has seen in a vision of in the dream that god has asked him to crush the neck of somebody ahead of the 2019 general elections the jni secretary general warned religious leaders to be careful to avoid inciting their followers to violence there was a symbolic slaughter of the ram, a major high point of the Eid al Kabir celebration, which symbolizes the willingness of Prophet Ibrahim to follow Allah's command to sacrifice his son Ishmael. From Jones, the Plata State capital, Samson, Omale, STV News.